In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph linear equations. So let's start with a simple example. How can we graph y equals 2x minus 3? What do you think we need to do in this problem? Now, this equation is in something known as slope-intercept form. Perhaps you've seen that equation, y equals mx plus b. Now the number in front of x is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. So we can see that the slope, which is m, that's equal to 2, and the y-intercept is equal to negative 3. Now the first thing that we're going to plot is the y-intercept. So basically that's where the graph touches the y-axis. And so we have a y-intercept of negative 3. So here's negative 3. Let me put that in a different color. Here's negative 3 on the y-axis. Now once you have the y-intercept, the next thing you want to do is use the slope to, ke uh, to get the next point. So the slope is basically the rise over the run. A slope of 2 means that we're going to travel up 2 units for every one unit that we travel to the right. So let's go up two and then over one. So that's going to give us the next point, which is at one negative one. It has an x value of one and a y value of negative one. Now let's get the next point. So we're going to travel two units up and one unit to the right, giving us the point two comma one. So x is two, y is one. And let's do it one more time. Up 2 over 1. So x is 3 and y is 3 at this point. And then all you need to do is connect the dots with a line. And so that's how you can graph a linear equation in slope-intercept form. Now let's try another example. So let's say we have the equation y is equal to 3x minus 4. Based on a previous example, feel free to pause the video and work on this problem. Go ahead and graph that linear equation. So first we need to draw a graph. And let's place the marks on the graph. So while I'm doing this, you can graph the function. Now, what is the slope and y-intercept in this equation? So remember, the slope-intercept formula, y is equal to mx plus b. The slope is m, which is the number in front of x. So the slope is 3. The y-intercept is b, which is the constant value at the end. And that's negative 4. Now, let's start by plotting the y-intercept. So it's negative 4 along the y-axis. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Next, let's use the slope. The slope is the rise over the run. So a slope of 3, or it's the same as 3 over 1. So we have a rise of 3 and a run of 1. So starting from the y-intercept, we're going to rise or go up three units for every one unit we travel to the right. So that's a slope of three. Now starting from the second point, we're going to travel up three units and then one unit to the right. So we have the point two comma two. And we could do it one more time go up 3 and then over 1 but we really don't need to so that's going to be approximately somewhere in that region but now we have enough information to draw a graph my graph is not perfectly straight but the idea is that you can use a rule if you want you just need to draw a straight line through those points and really all you need is two points to draw a linear function so the last two points really wasn't necessary 
Now let's work on another example. By the way, for those of you who want more practice on graphing functions and not just linear functions, check out the description section of this video. I'm going to put some links to some other videos in that area. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now what if we have a fractional slope? What should we do in this example? So we have a slope of 3 over 4 and a y-intercept of 1. So go ahead and graph this particular function. So as always, the first thing we should do is plot the y-intercept. And so it's at positive 1. It's above the x-axis this time. And the next thing we should do is use the slope to get the next point. So the slope is 3 over 4. So we have a rise of 3 and a run of 4. So what this means is that we're going to go up 3 units and then we're going to travel 4 units to the right. So that will give us the point 4 comma 4. And then we could just connect these two points with a straight line. And that's all we need to do for this example. So as you can see, it's not too difficult to graph a linear function. Now let's talk about how to graph linear equations that is not in slope-intercept form, but that is in standard form. That is ax plus by is equal to c form. So how do we do it? In this case, one of the best ways to graph a linear function in this form is to find the x and the y-intercepts. To find the x-intercept, what you want to do is replace y with 0. And so 2 times 0 is 0. Basically, this disappears. And you get 3x is equal to 6. And our goal is to calculate the value of x. So if we divide both sides by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So x is 2. This gives us the x-intercept with an x value of 2 and a y value of 0, since we replaced the y with 0. Now, to calculate the y-intercept, what we're going to do is replace x with 0 and calculate y. So 3 times 0, that disappears. That's just 0. And so we have negative 2y is equal to 6. Divide on both sides by negative 2. We get that y is positive 6 divided by negative 2, which is negative 3. So we get the point 0, negative 3. And that is the y-intercept. Now let's talk about graphing this equation. So all we need to do is plot the x and the y-intercepts. That's it. So starting with the x-intercept, it's at 2, 0. So x is 2, y is 0. And for the y-intercept, it's simply at negative 3 along the y-axis. And now we just got to connect the two points with a line. And so that's how we can graph uh, that particular equation. Let's try one more example for the sake of practice. So go ahead and graph this equation. 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. So just like before, we're going to determine the x-intercept first. So let's replace y with 0. So 5 times 0 is 0. So we get the expression 2x is equal to 10. And if we divide both sides by 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the x-intercept is 5, giving us the point 5 comma 0. Now, for the y-intercept, let's replace x with 0. And so we have 5y is equal to 10. And now let's divide both sides by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2, giving us the y-intercept 0 comma 2. So now let's plot it. So we have the point 5 comma 0. 
So that's the x intercept of 5. And then 0, 2. So the y intercept is 2. Now all we need to do is plot a line through the two points. And that's basically it. So now you know how to graph linear equations in slope intercept form and also in standard form. By the way, if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. And don't forget to click on that notification bell. Also, check out the links in the description section below for some other videos that I'm going to post there. Thanks again for watching.